Welcome to the channel today at Kiss My Arsenal. We are going to be doing a little bit of range day today and what we have today for you is breaking a little bit of misconceptions with shooting different firearms suppressed. A lot of it does come from things like video games, Hollywood, whatnot. If you ever played the old Call of Duties, you'd notice that throwing one of these bad boys on the end of your firearm would reduce damage, would reduce range, things like that. So it's just something today that we wanted to kind of clean up for you. So we do have the platform today is going to be a CFA and 223 Wild with a one and nine twist. We do have a little vortex optic on top, the Saker 762 with the ASR mount. So we've got a nice little setup today to sort of test kind of the ballparks of what different 223 and 556 loadings are going to do on a chronograph. So with this chronograph, it is going to gauge the feet per second of that projectile. What some folks may expect to see today is like the suppressor will reduce things like accuracy, will reduce things like range, maybe reduce feet per second. And we can talk about sort of why people may think that, but but we are gonna real quick hop over to the range and show us kind of putting some rounds down and sort of see those chronograph numbers. All right, and welcome back from the range. So as you saw with the different loadings when we were shooting this suppressed and unsuppressed on that chrono, we were actually seeing a little bit more feet per second on average when we did add that little suppressor. So a little bit contrary to popular belief, but when you do actually add on a little bit more dwell time onto the system, we're working with a 16 inch barrel here. Some folks may think, oh, maybe that adds another, we got about a seven and a half inch, eight inch can here. It doesn't quite add eight inches of barrel onto your system, it is going to add a little bit of extra dwell time though. So what that is, is essentially gases still building inside your suppressor, still essentially propelling that round forward just a little bit faster. It wasn't a crazy difference as we saw. We were seeing a difference of about 50 to 100 feet per second. So that is something to consider. It is, especially with something like the 223 cartridge that does sort of thrive on those feet per second numbers, something like a suppressor may definitely add to that uh, potency and add to the range of that firearm. So we definitely just kind of did a small little test of three rounds per, but just to kind of get you guys an idea of, hey, you know, shooting suppressed, does kind of change things. Here in a later video, we would also like to show how uh, shooting suppress does change different points of impact. So adding a suppressor on, although it may increase range, it may increase accuracy, it is gonna shift accuracy because I know the camera can't quite tell, but this is quite a hunk of, hunk of steel right here. So adding another, gosh, I would say about a pound and a half onto the end of your barrel is gonna to start to shift those harmonics a little bit, is gonna sort of change your impact, but we may see those groups sort of tighten up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us this week at Kiss My Arsenal, and we will catch you next time.